It's like super early in the morning. Three, three thirty. Yeah, three forty in the morning. But we have to wake up super early because where we want to go is two hours away. What happened? The uh, Mount Agoon went up last night to a level three. Like, it's like extreme caution. <laughs> and we're driving to like... <laughs> 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 My ass <laughs> up. <laughs> Alright. Come on, Dale. That's Mount Agoon. That is? That's Mount. So, we have to park here. There it is. Are we here? Yeah. Stay. Look at That's Mount Lagoon. So dark. This is exactly what I saw on Google Maps. So. But <laughs> you were finding things. <laughs> yeah, there it is. What's it? So. Yeah. There's actually two paths. There's one on the right, and there's one on the left, but you can barely see them, other than this little concrete piece right here. And the one on the left leads next to some banana trees and leads down into the rice field where you can actually see the volcano. Oh, from. actually you can see in the camera right now as well. Oh, that's so sick. Yeah. I heard motorbike sound. Oh, it's local. Oh my god, that's epic looking. What a birthday you see. have right now. Oh. Boom! <laughs> I'm just like, holy <laughs> shit! I just want to see some red stuff come out of the top. Just the whole night start glowing because of it pouring. Oh, that'd be crazy. So it's currently April 27th, it's my birthday. And uh, one of our friends that lives here in Bali, and he said, don't go to Mount Agoon. He's like, it's a level three, it is closed, you can't get near Mount Agoon. Well, we still came. And we're really <laughs> close. <laughs> and I can see Mount Agoon in the background. You can't really see it right now because it's on camera. It's fucking big, man. <laughs> it's so cool. So you said you see bats? Yeah. Bats are good. Especially you're worried about bugs right now, bats are eating them. Yeah? Yeah, bats eat mosquitoes. Oh, feels good. Not any dough? No. Good. See me good? Yeah. It's actually amazing because as the sun's starting to rise, like you hear local music coming from the village to the left. And then, like, you can see the action. It's crazy, because for two hours we were driving pitch black. I was talking to Tal while we were driving here. I was saying, we have no idea what's around us. The volcano could literally be, like, 100 feet to the left, and we'd have no clue. Yeah. But then, when it comes time and the sun starts to rise, you can actually see where you are, and it is so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I had to dance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, no, to me, I can't it. help yeah. it. <laughs> so it's 6 a.m. right now in the morning, and it's getting light, so we're walking down here. It's all covered up in the right.
Let's see this beautiful view right here. It's like picture perfect, seriously. Yeah, you have to see on a drone shot because actually when I stand from here, I don't really see like the, the light and all the yeah. smoke and things. But then when Timmy flies the drone, I see it from the up top and it's stunning. It looks beautiful. Yeah. Can you see this on the Google map? Can yeah. you actually come here? Yeah, so but, I'll put the Google yeah. map location in the description. It's called like Bukit Sinta. Also, this is one thing that you shouldn't miss. If you come from Changgu, it takes only Two like hours. one. No, like one an hour, hour and 30 minutes. Yeah, but that's like if you're flying, <laughs> like oh, we were. Right. If, if you're forgot. driving like average speed, it's probably two hours. <laughs> the only time I first step is when we stuck at a traffic light. Oh, That God. is the only time I literally feel safe, especially to me, right, with Dale? Like, they all go nuts. All right, so, so because we're so far away from Changgu, uh, we want to do a couple attractions around here, and there's a couple things that we really wanted to do, but last year we didn't drive this far out, so we're definitely going to try and hit them today while we're out here. And I think the road here is designed only just for the Two motorbike. motorbikes for sure. <laughs> it's like this wide and there's cars coming down it. Yeah. This this is the way that you know that it's totally perfect. It's not gonna be like too touristy. Because no way that I think the tour bus is gonna be able to come here and actually bring it's all okay, the tour bus okay. here. It's okay. <laughs> This is so stunning. We come at the right season as well because yeah, if it's a it's after big. the harvest, you're not gonna be able to see all the rice. <laughs> this one is like kind of like the Tekalalang, the famous one. No, I think it's even better than Tekalalang, the famous famous one. The Tekalalang is stunning in the aspect of like they do kind of like the staircase type. Yeah, the, the levels to the different. Yeah rice terraces but this one is we're on our way to temple of Lampuyang mm. and right on the left hand side as you're on your way there yeah you're going through the mountains and you get closer and closer to Mount Agoon yeah see everyone has to wear subtle female male everybody has to wear it it's only 10 rupee 10 ten thousand ringgit though you pay 10,000 ringgit yeah. for the subtle yeah okay Ta so, hang on. <laughs> so it's eight eight twenty three in the morning, and uh, apparently that's when everybody comes. What it really looks like. Hang on, what time is it right now? But oh, there's actually a lot of locals as well. But there's a whole huge line to take a picture. But what's really not the best part is, is there's a huge line to take a picture in front of a gate that you can't see Mount Goon because it's cloudy. So we're like way high up in the mountains to the point where like the clouds are covering it. So we're hoping that the clouds clear sometime soon. Yeah. Do you know what time they open? I'm not sure when it'll open. Yeah. But there's like, I oh know there's a guy there that's sitting there. So if you don't have, if you're a single person traveling and you want to come here and get a picture, it's possible because there's a gentleman sitting there. You just got to give him a little donation. He'll take the picture for you. Are you sure that is? Yeah. I thought he's guide to somebody. No, no he's sitting there. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You can see the mirror on the front of his camera that gives it that reflection effect. Yeah. Oh. Oh, got it. It isn't moving though. That's the worst part because there's so many people and the people taking the pictures, like the gentleman taking the pictures, is like, go, next pose, next pose, Remind me of when next pose, and he does it like 10 times. Remind me of when you go to the extended visa in Thailand. I know. <laughs> next. next pose. Next pose. Dab. Okay, jump. Dab. 
One, two, three. Well, there's so many restrictions when you want to come to this temple, though. First of all, um, at first I just thought that we women on period can come here. But it's not only applied to women on period, so basically if you are any gender... It applies to male on period, too. No, like, not male on period. But like, if you're bleeding, you're not allowed to get into the temple because they think you are impure. So uh, if like if you have a cut? Yeah, if you have a cut, if, you, if they notice that you have a bleeding wound, they're not gonna let you in. Also, you can't kiss inside the temple as well because this is regarded as one of the most was that one of the most reputable, one of the most holiest temple. So basically, in Bali, they have in total like seven temples that they believe to be like the temple that balance out the spirituality of the island. So one of them is in Uluwatu, that is really well known. The other one is here, and you have to make sure that you wear everything covered up, like your elbow, your knee, so then you can get step into this temple. Huh? If you know the respect, on this temple, yeah. you must be using yeah. the sarong. We're not we not allowed. Just picture without, and then put not that. allowed. No, no. Not allowed. Sorry. You must wear the sarong. Yeah. I'm not to trying to like meditate while walking. Yeah, how's it working for you? They're so scared of monkeys. I don't like them. Where? Funny, man. Twice Where's we've been attacked by monkeys. Where's now. monkey? Not Up here. Them. Just meditate, honey. I know. On your birthday. On my birthday, and you had to tell me there was more up here. <laughs> if you didn't tell me, oh, I would still be at the base. I thought I'd probably be eating right now. I thought it just like walking up the stair. The foreigner? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they walk. Wow. Huh? Wasn't that hard. No, it wasn't that hard, but I mean, most people that are come here on vacation, you know, and when somebody tells them that it's two kilometers away, most people will be like taking money. Taking motorbike, taxi. Yeah. Yeah. In the in Hindu, we have. A, Eight, uh, eight angel mm. in the northwest, uh, north, uh, west, south, and east, east, and upper uh, middles. Uh, we uh, believe that many deep uh, take our island. Okay. Uh, take our island. Uh, uh, the God. Uh, got our people here. I'm sorry because my English. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so is that big statue like a protection? The same, the same, thing? The same. Yeah. It protects yeah. the yeah. island. Oh. Uh, you know, we did a lot of exploring this morning. We saw some unreal views. But I think the rest of my birthday, we got to meet some friends back in Chengdu, and I think I want to sit on the beach and relax. We have yet to do that since we've been in Bali, so I think it's a good day. See that they park along the way here. I guarantee not a lot of people ride a motorbike up here. If you are not professional enough. Not like professional, if you are not like, Woo! 